Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw some uh, just a simple perspective here. This is just going to be a rough two-point perspective as we start to set up our ellipse. That's really what we want to do here. Drawing ellipses on boxes uh, can be uh, kind of challenging at the beginning, especially if you're not used to uh, working this way. I am going to tell you that starting off <clears throat> right off the bat with this method uh, I'm currently using uh, that's another thing I get a lot is oh boy what uh, what software what program are you using well I want to make sure that you understand that the software none of that stuff is really important uh, but just since most of you are curious I'm using Painter 12 and I'm using a Fujitsu uh, 2050, I think, something like that. It's a Fujitsu tablet PC. <clears throat> this really should be done by hand, but since it's really easy for me to record, I just do it this way. All right, so what I'm doing right now is that I'm going to, to, to set up my ellipses. I'm going to start drawing my diagonal lines from the four corners of the box on each face of the of the of the box okay so right here I got three faces so once I've got my midpoint here established we're going to draw another line that's going to intersect that midpoint that's going to cut right through the center I got my point there get my point there okay and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the same thing for the vertical. Whoops, looks like that one is off. So I'll do that again. For some reason, I still find it easier to, to do this stuff with pencil and paper than working on the digital tablet. Uh, I, I switch back and forth quite a bit just so that I keep my skills fresh, but I find that even after uh, some time, if I have not sketched on the tablet for a long time, then I even get rusty with the tablet. It's just it's really weird. So again, whoops, it's completely off. Let's try that again. I was working the part of the problem here is that it's really awkward because I can't flip the screen like I usually do when I'm working on a, on a pen and paper and I keep making these mistakes. So I'm in a very awkward position trying to to be able to make these lines work. Okay, so I'm not going to fiddle around with that anymore. That's close enough right there. There's my midpoint. And then we're going to go vertical. There we go. Okay. My midpoint for that. And then I'll join the lines right here to the center. Whoops. Man, I am just crucifying this thing right now. Like I feel like I haven't drawn in so long. Let's try this again. Man, I am just not able to hit this thing. If you can see me, what I'm really doing is when you look at, there we go. That's close. Oof, really, really rusty. This is something that typically takes me like a couple minutes to do uh, when I'm doing freehand and this is uh, really like freehand because I'm sketching right on the screen but mm, for some reason today I'm having some difficulty so I didn't quite hit that one let's try that again okay. there, that's it just gonna work a little faster There we go. All right, so that's uh, that's decent. It's okay. 
What's not okay is this line. This line has to be intersecting right there. So that's another way to sort of check yourself to see whether you're correct or not. I'm going to do all sorts of corrections here. Anyway, now that we got it, we got our, our points. And I'm going to highlight. And I'm just going to point out where the four points are where the intersecting lines are. Okay? Because that's where we're going to draw our ellipse. And I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do this right because I'm really not doing a great job right now. I'm going to thicken up my pencil. All right, and then I want to be able to hit these spots right here. Each one of those things. And I have to do it in a very consistent stroke and make sure I got a perfect ellipse that's going to hit those tangency points. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's okay. Except for this one, I've just sort of missed that a little bit. So, and you want to do the same thing for all the other ones. Okay, I missed it right there. Let's try it again. Okay. We got that. Just got to hit there. So this is the kind of exercise that you want to do when you're starting out. There we go. Pretty simple exercises that you can do. All right. So what do you do with this? How do you kind of take this knowledge you've got an ellipse? We've got uh, the minor axis right here, which is going to be really parallel with your see it's going to be parallel with the edges of your box okay that's what you're looking at for your ellipse now let's see what we can do with some of that knowledge and that information that we use for this okay now let's just say for the sake of it, we're just trying to create a very simple shape here. And we want to be able to place something that we've learned with constructing the ellipse with another shape that we may be familiar with. Okay. Okay. Got this. Everything I'm going to two point perspective. Okay. Once again, all we've got is a very simple box. Nothing fancy here. But what we want to do now is to sort of break up the box. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is set the box up again, just like we did on the, the faces for the cubes. Man, just really missing this thing. Now, I'm going to go with getting my ellipse in here. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to project that out. 
I'm going to create another one right here. Now I'm going to connect the two, making sure that the connection I'm making is in line with uh, these, so they're somewhat parallel to this. Okay. There we go. So we're basically creating these construction lines for it. And it's really nice because you got basically a skeletal structure to sort of understand how these basic forms and shapes relate to each other in space. And we're not doing anything uh, special. All it is is just cylinders right now. So when you look at the shape, uh, this shape right now you can see that we're, we're kind of making a camera. So what we've got now is just the lens. I can darken this up. We'll just cross hatch that. And then for the center line we want this to come out. You know there's going to be some curvature here and curvature this way. Now even though I'm doing this with the digital tool, what you want to do is to, to be able to create this thing with uh, just a pen and pencil. Pen or pencil and just do it on paper. You don't really have to try to do something uh, special or, or go out and get a tablet to do this. This is really better done on paper. And I'll, I'll now have another demonstration of this uh, using traditional tools here, okay? So just to make sure that I put money where my mouth is. Just, just so you guys know that uh, sometimes I use the digital mediums just because it's easier for me to record. But uh, to be honest, I, I really do prefer uh, analog. So I'm just going to give some basic shape here. We're not going to get into uh, designing this whole thing. We're just going to add some small curves so that you know how the basic shape is now being used for something else. And okay, now I'm going to just think it thickened up my uh, pencil here so I can start to add a little bit more line weight. Oops. Okay, and here we go, that's it. So this is pretty simple, it was just a, for this demo, it was just a camera and a simple shape too. We weren't trying to get too crazy with the, with the shapes, but the main intent, <clears throat> the main intent of this exercise is to help you understand that everything does come from basic shapes. We see it all the time in textbooks. We see it we see other people on YouTube doing it and sometimes I feel that the basics aren't really explained very well but and hopefully I'm doing a good job here but when you see this this is a very simplified version of the camera but yet it's pretty effective you know what it is and all we did is related this to that and it makes it a lot easier to understand that once you start practicing this and you get your minor ellipse, or I'm sorry, your minor axis, oops, I 
we're doing the same we're doing the same thing here just like we did on that box no different and we want to make sure that we are trying to turn you into a drawing machine that is my objective is to make you guys into a machine make all of you guys and gals make sure that if you have an interest in drawing that you're going to be doing it right and there's nothing better than to be able to visualize something that you're thinking in your head and then to be able to put it on paper you don't even have to be a pro on this uh, just to, just to be able to ideate and think out loud is really such a powerful tool I know that a lot of my friends uh, at work uh, they would love to be able to draw a lot of them are also engineers and they do all these little cartoons and things or or stick figures they always say that's all they can do but really if you start learning some of these techniques it's really easy for you to be able to ideate I just put a button here and that's it hope you guys enjoyed this saw some value in it now uh, my suggestion is to get out there and just practice some of these boxes just do as many pages as you can and definitely shoot over to our blog and post something up or go to our Facebook page and post something up on drivenmavens.com and uh, we'll hope to see you here again next time so uh, take it easy and uh, have a good one.